Alright, hello everybody, this is Scott, and today I'll actually be showing you how to uninstall Komodo. Now that we've done everything that we really need to do with them, uh, we're going to get rid of it. Why? This thing is obnoxious and I don't like them. So you know what I'm going to do first? I'm going to try and turn it off, because I'm getting annoyed with them. That's going to be one of the stupid... Oh, there it is, got it. Alright, so should still be running in the taskbar. It is. So now what we're going to do is we're just going to use a simple uninstalling program. Uh, which ones do I have? I have Revo Uninstaller Portable. Great one to use if you ha like installed programs. I like Advanced System Care's Uninstaller the best. And I love using the Forced Uninstall. And I'm going to show you how to clean up afterwards. Uh, for me to clean up afterwards, I had to get a tool off the Komodo forums, and it's a Komodo Uninstaller. And it's not really much of an uninstaller, it's so much as a file cleanup. It'll scan for excess registry items that are still there. So what are we going to do? Uh, if you're using IOBit uninstaller, go forced uninstall and type in Komodo. It should be the first one that comes up if you're using the antivirus. You're going to click next. It's going to do it with the standard uninstall. Windows is going to go in and do its Windows installer. It's going to prepare to remove. Don't ever interfere with the uninstallation. If it freezes, don't try to end it. Why do I say this? Komodo can wreck havoc on your computer if it is not uninstalled correctly. So it's best to just let it go. Some people I know, so it's gonna tell me right here to require a reboot. Uh, what do I want to do? I'm gonna pause. I'm gonna stop the video right here, and then I'm gonna reboot it, and then I'm gonna continue and just pay, put the clips together. So I will be right back with this. Alright everybody, and now that that part of the uninstallation has ended and I restarted my computer, uh, we are going to do a cleanup with a free tool off the Komodo forums. And where is it? It's in my downloads folder and it is... CIS cleanup tool. This is going to scan for Komodo registry items. So I'm just going to say, no web browser is running. Okay. You're logged in as administrator. Okay. Yes. Yes and yes. So here we go. It's gonna go in there and try and find whatever it can in the registry, and all remains of it should now be gone. Uh, I would try and show you, but it doesn't bring up what it scanned for. But that is how you can completely remove it. Now, if you're anything like me, you're a little bit skeptical. You're gonna say, "Oh, really? Is it all really removed?" Well, you're very skeptical. I applaud you for that but we will check we'll go on the software and we will just find in the C's no Komodo we will look in the local machine and software and I don't really like going in too deep with the registry so we're gonna go into the no software never heard anything in there so it looks like everything in the registry is clean we're gonna look for junk files left over and to do this we're gonna go to my computer we're gonna go to my local disk and we're going to go to program data. Do I just see anything from Komodo? Doesn't look like it. Alright. Program files. Do I see anything with Komodo? Doesn't look like it. We're going to go... Okay. That's actually just an empty folder. Uh, we don't have anything in there, so we're going to go in the program files. Do we see anything in here? Nope. It looks like the basic stuff is cleaned out, so we're going to do one last area, which is the app data folder. And this is generally where you find a lot of random stuff. And there is actually no remnants of it in here. So that is how you can properly uninstall Komodo antivirus. So thank you very much for watching. Uh, if you have any questions, please feel free to uh, put them in the comments below, and I will try to answer them. Thank you very much for watching, and goodbye.